The Asus ROG 5 is a really great smartphone. And one of the questions that people have asked me is, how great a device is this? Does it really live up to the hype? You know, does it have 90 FPS? But when I play on PUBG Mobile, it just has 60 FPS. Now, how did you unlock that? That and many more are the things I'm going to be answering right here. So let's get into it. Alright, so I got myself a couple of accessories. I got myself the Kunai Gamepad and the Asus ROG 5. But for this demo, we're going to be starting with the Asus ROG 5 right here, as you can see in the unboxing and just switching that through quite quickly. Getting into the device, it does come with a couple of things. I got the fan, and then also going into the Kunai Gamepad itself, as you then see, it does come looking a little bit like the you know if, if you do know how the nintendo switch kind of works it's, it's sort of like that and it does come with a case that you can connect your phone into which you'll be showing in quite a bit now th this is just a full range of accessories but but there, there are a couple more it's just accessories that you have you have the fan you have the charger the charger as you can see it's a type c to type c charger as you can just see right there it's a 60 watt charger so i mean it comes with really fast charger you can get your phone right down to 100 percent in about 30 minutes and i've been using this device for quite a while by the time i'm making this video so i have tested all of those things then onto the gamepad in itself as you can see it does have a handle which means that you can play it with it separately or just connect it to your device and it does come with a case using that particular case you all you need to do is connect your phone to that case and you're ready to go i do love the look of the phone it, you know the fan makes it quite easy to just you know cool that device through and you can see from this hole right here this is a point where you can plug you know in that fan and an extra type c in case you want to you know charge your phone while gaming and all of that stuff and it makes it you know it makes it for a cool experience i have seen you know really cool temperatures although personally i'm not really a fan of you know attachable fans and all that stuff but this one has one over my heart not just being a fan but having those extra buttons at the back makes it you know quite cool and you know sometimes i just use it as a stand like really like that like no big deal so going into pubg mobile which is you know what we're really here for and at the time i was making recording this video i didn't have 90 fps you know it was a smooth and extreme but then i will show you know in the description i'll leave a link in the description on how you can unlock your 90 fps on your device it has been tested and proven and i have tested it right here but even just running smooth extreme was a really great experience for me while i was shooting the game was smooth it ran well i didn't drop frames even the smooth extreme i couldn't really tell the difference i mean i could see slight differences when i did play on 90 fps especially when it came to knocking out my enemies quite clearly but i mean the difference you know when it came to the gameplay so sometimes i would forget to go through the process of unlocking the 90 fps and i would play and i would still see that great advantage in my gameplay so that's really great the shoulder buttons are really easy to press really easy to use both of them you can customize them quite easily all you got to do is just move it to the direction of the button you want it to use in my case i was using that for the shoot button and it just yeah worked extremely well for me now moving on to the gamepad itself all you got to do is just pull it out there from you know the handle it comes with connect it to so all you, then what you're going to do is connect it, the case to your phone just like this it's going to get via type c so there's no need for bluetooth and all of that stuff reducing latency and this is a thing you know that i really do commend asus for for right here because there's no bluetooth you know it reduces all that you know talk about lag latency and all you got to do is just pick up the controller yep just like that that easy and connect it right there left and right you know it does remind me of the joy cons within the um nintendo switch it, it does have that kind of feel in fact it has that exact kind of feel when you're playing with it you know and it's quite easy to use all you gotta do is turn left or right and i found myself really enjoying the gameplay here although i'm not a fan favorite of using you know the right side 
um, of the controller I basically just pull that out when I want to play but the left one you know when it comes to joysticks there's nobody in this world that can tell me that it's easier to use a joystick on the touch screen than actually using an actual joystick you can't convince me otherwise I've tested it out with so many different gamers and every single one of them has said the same thing when it comes to using the joystick on touch screen it's not as good as using a joy an actual joystick but for moving around for looking around for that free look yeah using the touch screen actually does work so i feel like a, the best situation is sort of like a hybrid situation where you're just using the left side joystick but you're using the touch screen when on the right side all right that 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 hybrid is sort of like the best experience for me when it comes to mobile gaming but but other than that it has been a fantastic experience when it comes to using this device and you know just operating with the gamepad the konai gamepad is mind-blowing when it comes to responsiveness you know shooting um it, i mean you know if you want to use it this way it's fantastic i mean all you got to do is just press your button click on the shoot and boom you're ready to go so just judging from the fan, it is an amazing device. It does have an option for you to connect an earpiece to it right down there. So it doesn't affect your gameplay at all or get in the way. Although I'm just a fan of using my earbuds. I do love them. So, so yeah, I mean, you can just place your phone on the table just like that. If you're playing games, especially I find this quite easy for me when I'm playing other games, not really battle royals. I, I mean, especially when I'm using the Xbox Game Pass. I can play, you know, games like soccer, you know, quite effectively this way. All right, so there you go, people. It is an amazing device, as you have seen. It does have so many different advantages, and it is something that you can use for gaming, for your everyday use. You really don't want to be using it to, you know, take the best photos because you're not buying an Asus Rock 5 to say, hey, I'm going to take quality photos and post it on Instagram. I mean, it still can do a decent job for you, but that really is not the purpose of having that device. It is for gaming and that's what it does. It's really great on what it does and it doesn't really try to be anything more than that. All right. So that's pretty much what it is. All right. So that being said, I do hope you like the content that you've seen so far. If you do love it, do remember to hit that like and smash that subscribe. It's your boy Act Fire, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.